The island of Jamaica may be one of the most visited destinations in the Caribbean, but most people don't leave the resorts along the northern shore, meaning there's over 4,000 square miles of secret adventure waiting to be discovered. Visitors should actually get out of the hotels and explore the island. Get off-road on paths carved out by Spanish conquistadors. Taste the sweet meat of the Jamaican roadside. We have jerk fish, jerk chicken, jerk pork, jerk vegetables, jerk everything. Sleep under a diamond-studded sky in your own private treehouse. Savor sumptuous seafood while watching a jewel-toned sunset. Then party all night long in an underground nightclub where pirates once stashed their loot. Where can you find all this? That's an island secret. Just south of Cuba, the island of Jamaica is the quintessential Caribbean getaway. What I love about Jamaica is that if you want the sand, the beaches, the super all-inclusive hotels, that's an option. But if you want a mountain getaway, just tranquil, peaceful experience, there's also that option. And then there's the best option, which is mingling with the locals. This fourth largest Antilles island may be known for reggae music, Rastafarians and rum. But there's more to do in Jamaica than spending hazy days on the beach listening to Bob Marley tunes. We have been blessed with so much natural resources and attractions that you won't have the true experience just by staying in the hotel room. The Jamaicans have had a lot of practice being friendly to tourists. They've been welcoming them since the late 1400s when Christopher Columbus ran his boat ashore in Discovery Bay. 25 years later, the Spanish took over. Then the British invaded in 1655 and hired pirates to protect their sugar crops. The island has spoken English ever since. Well, sort of. Everyone in Jamaica speaks English, but that doesn't mean you're not gonna need a translation now and again. With dozens of nonstop flights to Jamaica every day from the States, it doesn't take long before you're sipping rum punch by the seaside infinity pool. And here's a secret that will make paying for it a bit easier. The official currency is the Jamaican dollar, but most places will be more than happy to take your Benjamins. In fact, Jamaican hospitality is not something that can be bought. It's a way of life. Everyone says in general is that they feel very welcome when they come here. And it's a home away from home that's more warm, better food, and nicer vibe. I have found the people in Jamaica to be so friendly. Very, very friendly and very nice. Over the years, the Jamaicans have created a party atmosphere where anything goes. It's a place where you come and you expect the unusual. You can come here and spend some time and enjoy the rain. You can come here and spend some time and enjoy the food. But most of all, you can come here and spend some time and enjoy the people. Although the island is set up for tourists, the driving is not. The roads in Jamaica are narrow, they're mostly unpaved, and they often trace the side of a big cliff. You're probably going to want to hire a local driver. With so much to do, it could be hard to decide between history, adventure, or party. But why choose? In Jamaica, you can do all three. Most of the big resorts are in Montego Bay, but there's plenty of off-the-beaten-path secret adventures to be had not too far away. Drivers are easy to find. Hop in and head for Ocho Rios. This seaside town where Columbus first stepped foot is a major port for docking cruise ships sailing from the States. It's also home to the famous Dunn River Falls and plenty of spots to swim with dolphins. But like Columbus, you're going to have to do some exploring to find one of the best kept secrets in the area. Green Gutter Cave is unique. It's in a class of its own. The 5,000-foot limestone labyrinth winds its way down 40 feet into the earth, hiding numerous chambers and even a subterranean lake. The caves, they're very huge and a lot to see. You know, they're very beautiful stones, they're different water features and a lot of little holes and interesting places to crawl into. Discovered by the island's first inhabitants, the Arawak Indians, the cave has a history longer than a Jamaican dreadlock. This cave was believed to be at one point the hiding place for the last Spanish governor of Jamaica. Spanish governor Cristobal Arnaldo Isasi made his escape from the conquering British through the tunnels of the cave in 1658. Then, during World War II, the Jamaican government used the cave as a storeroom for rum. The rum was more important. It was like gold within that time period. And the temperature of the 
landscape is perfect. I'm talking about huge bars of 151 overproof rum. Rum that even pirates himself will go crazy for. The cave was also rumored to be the hideout for hundreds of slaves escaping from their imprisonment on the British sugar plantations in the 18th and 19th centuries. There are areas in which they can hide for days and not be found. The history behind it is really powerful. And to know that you can stand there in that space and know that all of that took place right in that space where you're standing is pretty amazing. It's Safe enough for a six-year-old, you don't have to be a fan of spelunking to explore stalagmite and stalactite-filled caverns. You put on your hard hat and you go through the caves and it's very cool because you hear the stories of the slaves and how they use it as a secret passage to get from point A to point B. There's plenty of wildlife in the caves, from nine species of bats to shrimp, fish and crabs. But if you'd rather party like an animal than commune with one, the cave has a place for that too. At one point inside the cave, they actually had a nightclub. You could come here and P-A-R-T-Y. If you want to do the crisscross jump or the Gangnam style, it doesn't matter. People come here and they party like crazy. The best part about it, you never know when the sun's coming up. After dancing all night long in the party cave, <laughs> soak your tired feet in the crystal clear waters of the subterranean pool or explore the many hidden halls. Who knows, you may even spot a shiny object or two left behind from centuries past. Researchers are still looking for artifacts and treasures within this very cave. Not enough pirate booty in the caves? Check out the southern city of Port Royal, known at one time as the wickedest and richest city in the world. The pirates of the Caribbean were invited here by the then governor of Jamaica to use Port Royal as their headquarters because he wanted protection of Port Royal from Spanish or French or Dutch invaders. So it became their playground. Located just south of the Jamaican capital, Kingston, this little city created on a landfill has had its series of setbacks. It was the headquarters of the pirates back in the 1670s, right up to 1692, when there was a tremendous earthquake. It had fires after the earthquake and was destroyed several times, but it has a tremendous history. Shifting sands may have washed much of Port Royal into the sea, but there's still plenty left to explore. This troubled town features an historical village where you can explore everything from a 17th century church to an ancient fort. Ever wonder who that guy with the sword is on the Captain Morgan rum bottle? Henry Morgan was the most famous of the, or infamous of the pirates. He used Port Royal as his headquarters. He didn't create the rum, but he was knighted by the British government and later became governor of Jamaica. If you'd rather be hanging out with movie stars than marauders, head east to the parish of Portland, where privacy is on the menu. Very special and it's very hidden, so it's kind of secret. There's nothing like partying with the locals in the capital of Kingston, Jamaica. Nightlife in Kingston is like nothing else. And it goes from just going to clubs, to going to a party, to going to the dances where you get to learn all the Jamaican dances. But if your idea of an island vacation is to disappear into a jungle hideaway, the eastern parish of Portland is just what you've been looking for. Portland is not your typical tourist destination as the rest of Jamaica is. This is where everybody comes to get away from it all. This is where you come when you want to hide away and have a really fantastic vacation. Made famous when it was featured in the Tom Cruise movie Cocktail, the Paris capital, Port Antonio, was once home to swashbuckler Errol Flynn. Most people stick to the more developed West Coast, but Port Antonio is on the rugged Northeast, which makes it perfect for celebrities or anyone who wants a really exclusive, unique experience. And what could be more unique than sleeping high up in the vine-drenched jungle among 100-foot banyan trees? Canopy House is actually three houses set on the Blue Lagoon in Port Antonio. A series of five private one- and two-bedroom guest houses built by local artisans out of sustainable materials. Even the locals have a hard time locating the hotel. It's a bit difficult to find the place, and it's by design. A lot of our guests like privacy, so we're not the sort of place that we like to have people just drop in. We try very hard to keep it a secret because we want those who experience it to know what a special treat it is. With its four-poster beds and French doors, Canopy isn't your typical backyard treehouse. 
They're trying to capture the whole childhood dream. You know, everybody wants the adventure of being in a tree house. However, these tree houses, they have all the amenities, the comfort, the luxury of a regular room, but in a tree house for the adventure. You don't really have to climb into them, but they have the same feel of being elevated off of the ground and having the views that a tree house would have. Although replete with air conditioning and a stock fridge, Canopy doesn't have TVs, but in this setting, you won't miss them. There is a fantastic view of the ocean from the living room. You just listen to music, relax in our very comfortable chairs, and you don't ever want to leave. I think the nicest thing is waking up here, and you open your eyes and you look outside and you go into your balcony, you're just like, all right, I'm here, wow, yeah, it's nice. Each bungalow has a kitchen, so you could try your hand at whipping up your own jerk sauce. But you don't want to miss out on Canopy's individually designed menu. We cater to you whilst you're here. So the food might be different for someone coming in next week as opposed to who's here now, because we find the foods that you like and make sure that your experience whilst you're here is exactly what you want it to be. You can be sure that each bite of green bananas and breadfruit came from just around the corner. So the nice thing about the Canopy House food is that the um, vegetables, the herbs, the salads, everything comes from Mount Edge, which is a beautiful place in the Blue Mountains. You may never want to climb down from your treetop perch, but the location of Canopy right outside of Port Antonio gives you easy access to everything from rafting down the Rio Grande with a red stripe to swimming in the famous Blue Lagoon. Originally called the Blue Hole, this natural lagoon got a name change after Brooke Shields bared off in the 1980 movie Blue Lagoon. Today, the lagoon is a favorite spot to take a secluded swim or a private paddle. Yeah, man. What makes the lagoon stand out from others in Jamaica? The mystical blue color. At different points, it's different colors, different shades of blue. The color of the lagoon changes throughout the day depending on the angle of the sun. Spend the day at the Blue Lagoon and watch the hue change from turquoise to sapphire to deep blue. The color might be from another planet, but the water will remind you why Jamaica is one of the best islands on Earth. Portland is also known for its abundance of waterfalls. From Somerset to Hidden Falls, there's plenty of natural rapids to play in. Reach Falls may not be the tallest, but according to the locals, it's the place to go take a proper plunge. I love Reach Falls. Mark you, it's really cold. And once you get over the initial chill, fantastic. Our biggest asset is the fact that we are located on the Junk Hill Mountain Range. And we're also in the middle of a mountain forest. That lends itself to a 100% natural environment. And we're able to leverage that environment to deliver an awesome eco experience. Looking for a little more adventure than your average doggy paddle? Experiment with some Rock Jumping 101. It's not very high, but very natural, and there's a nice place for jumping off and swimming as well. Then you're not going to hit anything because somehow, I don't know, it's almost perfectly made where you don't have to go too far out. The rocks don't come out far at all. So any jump is a safe jump at reach for us. Here's a tip. You can get to the falls on your own, but if you hire a guide to take you up, he may show you some secret spots. The attraction was actually discovered by slaves who ran away from plantations, and they used the general area as a hideout. The caves that we have on property are actually some of the hideout spots that were used by those very slaves. Even if you're not looking for a secret shelter, the view alone is worth the trip to the falls. It has hanging vines, natural caves. It's like a scene from a movie. It's gorgeous. Hidden caves, towering falls, sweeping views, and treetop hideaways. Port Antonio is a great place to satisfy your outdoor cravings. But when your stomach is the one doing the talking, head down the coast to Boston Bay, where the local flavors come right from the roadside. Street food in Jamaica is the bomb. Whether British and Spanish or Chinese and African, many foreigners have long heard the call of the warm Jamaican breezes and sweet island rum. This multicultural microcosm influences everything in Jamaica, from the clothing and music to the distinct spices used in its cuisine. Although you can find a great curry or dumpling on the island, 
When you're craving some traditional Jamaican flavor, there's nothing that will satisfy the soul like Jamaican jerk. You cannot experience Jamaica without eating jerk. It's just virtually impossible. Jerk is a very important dish to the hearts of the Jamaicans, you know. It goes right back to the indigenous peoples that were here. They were intermingled with the runaway African slaves. And the best place to find it? Roadside at Boston Bay. It's a, everything about Boston is just positivity. It's good. You, you won't be disappointed, man. It's good. Located south of central Port Antonio, these roadside stands are about as local as you can get. There's no linen tablecloths, or even tables for that matter. But what you'll find is a roast pig that's been slowly cooked over five hours on homemade grills with traditional Jamaican spices. There are a few stands in Boston Bay, but the locals know to head right towards Tari's. If you want to try the best of jerk food, you have to come at Tari's Jerk Center. It's pretty much just a small roadside stand with a couple of guys grilling meat. But the food is unbelievable. Pork is the specialty here. But if you're more into plants than pigs, you don't have to miss out on the bold taste of the island. We have jerk fish, jerk chicken, jerk pork, jerk vegetables, jerk everything is jerk. And jerk hair is not jerk anywhere else. Ask any number of Jamaicans what the secret is, and you're sure to get an answer. It just might not be the same one. The sweet wood that they use to smoke the meat makes all the difference. Old Spice is, is, I think, the key. The secret of the jerk chicken in Boston Bay is that they collect the white cinnamon from the forest just behind the stand where they're cooking. You can't make jerk chicken like them because you can't get that ingredient anywhere else. The jerk spice at Tari's may be unique to Boston Bay, but that doesn't mean you can't taste it at home. Tari sells bottles of his famous Jamaican jerk sauce at the stand, so even if a weekend trip to Portland Parish isn't on the agenda, you can still savor the spicy scotch bonnets and sweet cinnamon of the Caribbean roadside. You can pretty much run the gamut in Jamaica, from chilling out to partying all night long. And when you want to tap into your more adventurous side, there's everything from zip lining and dune buggies to sailing a catamaran through the turquoise sea. And there's only one place that offers it all, Island Roots. We have a wide range of excursions, whether you like water activities, you like to get on the off-road, or you like to get in the ocean and ride on a very gentle stallion. You could stroll through a trail on horseback, but why not ramp it up a bit with horsepower? Dune buggy caters to those folks that really have road rage, like myself. You really want to get out there and get rid of some stress. Get off the beaten path and into a two-seater. Then ride through the backwoods and lush forests of Ocho Rios and chuck a Sandy Bay ranch. Round the corners, up the hills, <laughs> down the hills. Uh, it's a great experience. It's awesome. Yeah. There were some smooth parts where you could get some speed, and there were some rocky parts where you had to use a little technique. Hope you're not afraid of a little mud. Got some great scenery and just a, overall a lot of fun. I was kind of giggling the whole time. <laughs> it's true. I was. Need a place to wind down after your road rage escapade? Drive your dune buggy west to the seaside town of the Grill, and you'll find a boutique hotel where a nap by the 60-foot cliffside pool is only rivaled by a sunset swim beneath a tropical garden. It's a gorgeous setting on the pristine ocean. It doesn't get much better than the Rock House Hotel. When people started coming to the western city of Negril in the 1950s, lodging options were limited. Visitors rented space in the homes of the Jamaican locals, or even set up camp in their yards. Negril is very laid back. When you go to Negril, it's like you've left the island completely. Today, you can stay beachside at nearly a dozen all-inclusives on the white sand shores. But there's another option, too. A one-of-a-kind hotel built into a seaside cliff. The Rock House Hotel is an incredible secluded getaway. The location, sitting there looking out over the ocean, you feel like you're on the edge of the world. Rock House might be perched along the rocky cliffs from the grill's pristine cove, but that doesn't mean you'll be roughing it. Each of the 34 thatched huts features handcrafted furniture and first-class amenities. Want to commune with nature without leaving the comfort of your bungalow? Step into the outdoor shower shaded by lush tropical gardens. We love to shower outside here in Jamaica because the water is very cool and nice. Rock House is the perfect place to launch your Jamaican journey or just hang out and do nothing at all. A lot of our guests really want to come here and just fly around. I had some friends here actually a while ago who said they, they'd recaptured the luxury of being bored. Boredom may be a luxury, but it's not the only one at Rock House. 
take a dip in the 60-foot pool, or take the stairs carved into the rock down to the cove for snorkeling on the reef. Our pool is one of the, the key spots in the hotel, and that's where, you know, people tend to hang out during the day. It's right on the edge of the cliff. Feeling a bit more courageous? There's more than one way to get down to the cove below. My favorite part of it is that we have a little bridge. It's like a shaky bridge that overlooks the ocean. That's perfect to jump off of. Go for a swim below the cliffs, climb the stone steps back up to the sun deck, grab a bite at one of the two award-winning restaurants, and then do it all again the next day. There's nothing quite like it. It's really a lovely place, lovely experience. You may think you know the island of Jamaica, but there's more hidden pleasures along the streets of the outer parishes than can be found at the bottom of a glass of rum punch. Dance the Camino with the Kingston locals, explore pirate hideouts in Port Royal, and experience the fiery heat from a Caribbean Scotch bonnet in Boston Bay. A trip to Jamaica may be a Caribbean standard, but these island secrets are anything but the standard fare. If you haven't been to Jamaica, then you're missing out.